A Gallatin County man is in the state hospital in Warm Springs after allegedly making threats against Montana's state capitol building. MTN's Jacob Fury is live at the capitol tonight. Now, Jacob, what have you learned by talking to police and capitol workers today? Mackenzie, this whole incident played out over about 24 hours from Tuesday to Wednesday. And while police aren't saying a lot right now, we do know that this was a credible threat. We got a call on, um, I guess it's Tuesday afternoon from Bozeman Police Department saying that they had received information that a person was threatening to come to the Capitol. Law enforcement sprang into action. Bozeman and Helena Police, Gallatin County Sheriff's Office, MHP, and county attorneys formulated a plan. By Wednesday, police were able to confirm the identity of the man and that he had left Belgrade, headed for Helena. Highway Patrol is the one that actually made the stop out on Highway 12, um, just east of town. The person was headed to Helena. We received information just before that stop. Meanwhile, extra officers were assigned to the Capitol Wednesday as a precautionary measure. Hagen says the goal was to never let the man enter the city. We wanted to get the person stopped before they entered Helena. Um, if it ends up being something where it becomes um, dangerous, we'd much rather have it happen on the highway than in the city because there's a lot less population. Helena police say the man was initially taken to St. Peter's Health for a mental health evaluation, and after working with the Lewis and Clark and Gallatin County Attorney's offices, a decision was made to turn the man over to the Montana State Hospital at Warm Springs. Police haven't said who the man is and won't say whether he had any weapons when he was taken into custody. While they have some ideas about his motivations, they won't talk about that either. Police say state officials were made aware of the threats, but some lawmakers on Thursday appeared to have no idea about the alleged threats. The news to me that there was a really dangerous situation is just that. It's news to me. What makes me really happy is that law enforcement was able to apprehend the person, take care of the situation, and we here at the Capitol were kept safe. Other Capitol workers echoed that sentiment with some saying they didn't need to know about the threat as long as it was taken care of by police. Now there's no word yet on what charges this man may face, but of course we're following this story very closely and we'll keep you updated. Reporting live at the Capitol tonight, Jacob Fuhrer, MTN News.